Hey, what's up, Lightball Joe here. Today we're going to discuss the 2016 animated feature film from Warner Brothers Studios, Storks. So this is written and co-directed by Nick Stoller. He did the Neighbors franchise. He's done a bunch of different hilarious, hilarious projects with Seth Rogen. But he gives a lot of heart to the projects, aside from the comedy. So it's interesting watching now this from him for a kids film. Because this had a lot of heart to it. This had a lot of real life situation, real life adult, you know, kind of conversation as well. Um, it's a great twist on the stork delivering the baby story. How do you make a movie about that? So the storks no longer deliver babies per the story. Andy Samberg voices the main stork junior. And, uh, so there was an incident with a stork many 18 years ago, technically with this baby that they named Tulip and the stork, uh, refused to deliver her. Why did the stork refuse to deliver her stuff like that? Right obsessed with my baby my baby my baby and so then the storks moved on banished that stork the storks as a whole moved on and they're just now a delivering service so they ship boxes of product and whatever it's called corner store or something like that and so what happens then when a kid sends a letter to the storks asking for a little brother well all of those letters asking for babies get sent to a department where, where there's storage and that there's no longer a thing. They're no longer delivering babies. But what happens when that 18-year-old girl, Tulip, who's been orphaned, um, who's been working with the storks in the factory since then, when she's sent to the mailroom and inadvertently sends the letter into the system, well, it obviously it's going to create a baby. And obviously that baby's got to be delivered somehow. So chaos, right? Chaos trying to then see how to find the baby's family. But then the boss stork is causing an intervention in regards to, no, we're no longer doing babies. We're just doing product. But then what happens then when all hell breaks loose and then the circuits are realigned and then the, you press the button and then all of the letters start to go into the machine and all the babies are then created. Well, obviously you have to deliver them. So it's a very interesting conversation in regards to what makes a family. Is it your blood is family? Is it a found family? What is the definition of family? A lot of those conversations throughout, there's random music that, that this pigeon sings throughout, hysterical, but it was a great, it felt like real life conversations that these characters were having, that that I don't want to give you up, but I know you belong here kind of a thing, and like, if you love something, let it go, like all these types of things, and it was, I was very impressed, very quick, hour 20 something, it's a, it's a kid's film, but it, it corresponds to the adult conversations as well and that's what's best about animated films is that it, it targets two different types of ages age ranges right multiple age ranges actually that's what ugly dolls didn't do which is what i was kind of referencing the in the last review it was just such a story that it's cookie cutter story that we've seen so many times there's nothing new or exciting about it this was new and exciting because it was a different take on the stork story. It was a different, what happens when the storks don't deliver babies anymore? What do they do? And what happens when the pods that they use to deliver the babies are gone? Well, they have to wrap them in some kind of sheet, obviously, as the typical stork depiction. It was very smart, very smart how they did this film. I was very impressed. I got choked up at one point, didn't expect it. But overall, it was a nice surprise. So 2016's animated feature film from Warner Brothers, Storks. Awesome film. On to the next review. Je m'en